You are listening to Comedy Club for Kids presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense. Bonjour, mon petit fromage. And yes, I just called you a little cheese. And welcome to your mum's favourite podcast, How to Be Cool for Beginners. Joke guys, it's me. Thanks so much to Caitlin for that intro, who says she is also the voice inside your brain, otherwise known as Linda. Wait, what? Linda is the voice in my head? Is that where she's been all along? Does that mean I'm Linda? But if I am, I've made myself a coffee before, but Linda's never made me a coffee. And if you're Linda, Caitlin, are you also in my head? And did I send me my own intro? Hmm, very curious. Caitlin has also sent a whole load of stinky hippos, which, look, I would never do that to myself because they're disgusting. So that means Caitlin can't be in my head, which means Linda also can't be. Oh, this is confusing. Ah, Let's get back on track. No, not that kind of track. Anyway, hello and welcome to Radio Nonsense, the official comedy club for kids podcast that's suitable for all ages from... to... and everything in between. I'm Tin, and and apparently this show is your mum's favourite podcast. Uh, Sorry, your mum's, which I think stands for um, Minutes of Meetings. That's when someone writes down all the things that happen in a meeting. Um, You know, meeting started, Steve coughed, Amy did a small fart, boring Chris asked if anyone was going to bring any biscuits, all that sort of stuff. Um, So this show is the Minutes of Meetings favourite podcast. Um, Do they minute this show? I'd love to know if they've got details of every radio nonsense that's ever happened. Linda! Linda, do you know if someone's done meetings of these shows? Ah, wait, Linda might be in the head, mightn't she? I wonder what would happen if I put the microphone right next to my brain. Hello! Hello! Can anybody hear me? Oh, wow, is that my inner voice? I would like to sing to you now. My inner voice sings? Is that what it does in between thoughts? La 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 Wow, that is weird. Um, right, well, I'll check on that again in a minute, but I can't hold the mic to my head while I check the mailbag, so... Um... Right, in the mailbag uh, this week, first up is this brilliant joke from Caitlin, who sent in the intro, uh, and she says, Do you want to hear two short jokes and one long joke? Joke, joke, and joke! Yes! Thanks, Caitlin. I love that gag, um, even if you are or aren't in my head. And also, wouldn't life be so much easier if all jokes were just the word joke, but said in different ways, right? You could just, instead of having to, like, write lots of stand-up comedy, I could just go, joke, 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 joke! That would be so much easier. But I guess joke books would get pretty boring after a while, wouldn't it? Page one, joke, 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 joke. Page two, joke, joke, joke. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, And then there is this Apple podcast review from Liv, who is 11 farting blobs old, which is, well, what a great age to be. And Liv says, I love your show. I listen to it 24 seven. And then she's put lots of stars plus lots of uh, five stars plus five more stars. Um, Here are some farting jellyfish, approximately nine uh, Google uh, or nine gazillion uh, nine hundred and ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand anyway there's a lot there there's definitely a lot um wow thanks Liv um I can't believe you listen to this podcast 24 7 though that is every hour of every day I mean I love that but I also hope you haven't missed anyone trying to tell you things because you're only listening to this take your headphones off for one second just in case someone's yelling hey Liv watch out for that llama or hey Liv it looks like your knees have fallen off I hope that hasn't happened though And thank you for the farting jellyfish. Because they're so squelchy, they make very horrible sounding farts though, so I'll just splat them by the other animals. Uh, And then there was this message on the Spotify Q&A from Judd the Rudpud, who says, Hello, yoi, nine, yoki, koko, koko, pipi, joini, kini, 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 bugda, bugga, tugga, tugga, doofo, guggas, 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 guggas,
Well, yes, I agree. Uh, and I think it's very important that we have such clear and serious messages on this podcast. I wonder what my inner thought thinks about that. I'll just put the mic to it now. Okay, now I'm going to play a little song on my guitar. <laughs> That was a totally different voice. How is there a guitar in my head? Ugh, no idea. Okay, uh, back to your messages. Um, these two are from Apple Podcasts. Uh, first up, this is from longtime messenger in a laughing ninja who says, Boing! This is Laughing Ninja back from the cheese. I'm just writing in to say that you, yes, you, Tin, and there are two of you now, are very stinky, but the other one of you is be halving Califor feats. Wait, how did you know there were like two of me? Is, you, you do mean the two voices in my head, right? Are you hiding somewhere at Comedy Club for Kids HQ, Laughing Ninja? Hmm, that is weird. Maybe one of the voices in my head is halving Califor feats. I guess that might explain the different voices. Hmm, very strange. Okay, uh, well, this is from Eloise, who has also written in before. And Eloise says, best podcast ever. Hey, sup? I love this show. It makes me laugh so much. I get very bad hiccups when I listen to this podcast. From Eloise.com. Um... Wow, thanks, Eloise. Uh, but have you tried listening to this podcast while upside down or drinking a glass of water? That might cure the hiccups. Or, I know, maybe I should just go, boo, quite a lot more. Uh, I hope that helped. Anyway, thanks for all your messages. But what did my inner voice think about all those messages? Now it's time for some jazz. What jazz? Why is my head full of jazz? Well, I've no idea, but... What I'd better say while thinking of jazz music is if you want to send in a message or joke or you have a question that needs answering, then please ask your nearest flatulent blunderbusses, sorry, I mean grown-ups, to help you email me at podcast at comedyclub4kids.co.uk. You can also drop me a line on the Spotify Q&A for each episode, but don't put any personal details on there, please. And I'm afraid the Dexter Proctor competition is now closed by the time you hear this, unless you are super, super quick, and you can send in your own made-up Dr. Dr. Joke very, very fast. I will announce the winners next week. If your grown-ups would like to help support this show, uh, then they can subscribe you to the advert-free Linda edition on Acast Plus, patreon.com forward slash comedy club for kids, or Apple Podcasts. And please also uh, do check out comedyclubforkids.co.uk for all of our live shows around the country. Okay, uh, I wonder if my inner voice has changed after saying all the important admin bits. That has to have affected it, right? I'll just hold the mic. Is, is no one there? Is my brain on hold? I'd better check just what's happening in my head, so while I do that, you listen to this most important bit. Let me tell you about this. Yes, Beck once again to Radio Nonsense. It's the brilliant Beck Hill, a.k.a. Beck Beck, who is banned from Quebec, a.k.a. Becklington Bill, secret mayor of Brazil, and as all of our listeners who are spiders wearing tap shoes know you, So graceful. But of course, Beck, you are very well known for your special dentistry work for gift horses and because no one else will look in their mouths for creating the world's first uh, work ground for kids, which is like a playground. But you can only go on it while having meetings or doing admin. And most famously, for single handedly stopping the terrible chickpea versus green pea war of 2007. Um, how you doing, Beck? Ah, oh, I am. I'm great. If not tired from all of my business ventures it's a lot you're doing a lot and i mean it's it's very impressive thank you thank you uh yeah i i'm recovering from uh, a, a big uh, i had my my arm bitten off by one of the horses that i was performing dentistry on <laughs> right, right right yeah yes i did i mean i was looking at you thinking i was certain you had two arms before and now you've you've clearly only got one, but I I did wonder it's, what had happened. It's growing back. It's got like a yes. I've, if you, I've, I'll lean in close. We're doing this on a Zoom call. I'll, I'll let you see my. Can you see my tiny, my tiny little arm? Tiny baby arm. Yes. Tiny baby yes. arm. Yeah. That's amazing that you're able to do that. Um, is that if you descended from lizards in some way? Yes. Yeah. My uh, my mum was a gecko, and my dad right. uh, worked in IT. He's just a human. Right, right. Sure, 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 sure. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yes. Uh, how did how did they meet? Just uh, At a fairground. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, geckos love fairgrounds. 
Yes, famously so. Uh, so she was uh, hanging out, literally. She was stuck to a wall and right. um, and my dad, uh, she needed some IT done, it turned out. Sure. And uh, my dad said, I can mm-hmm. help with that. Uh, it actually had nothing to do with the fair, but that's where they were. So uh, That's nice. What a lovely, yeah. beautiful story. What a beautiful mm-hmm. story. And now here you are able to grow back an arm for, um, is that the first time you've had to do that? Or? No, I've had to grow back several appendages. Um, my toes, uh, common, every time I stub one, they fall off. So, uh, right. Right. so they sure. have to grow back. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And occasionally, because sometimes I see, yes, yeah, which is a big, a big part of, but I suppose with the shoes, you can't walk up walls quite as easily. So you, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was going to say, sometimes I've seen you with and without a tail. Uh, sometimes you don't seem so bothered about the tail. Yeah. I usually, uh, I, I choose to grow it. That's the nice thing is I can choose whether I grow something back or not. Right. And so nice. in so the winter, I'll grow the tail out, wear it like a scarf. Uh, in right, the summer, sure, I'll, sure. I'll drop it off. Yeah, <laughs> that's lovely. Have you ever sort of thought, ah, oh, this week I'm going to have forearms? And we've all got I'm forearms, sort of Oh yeah, we've got four. Oh yeah. Oh, that's it's spelled confusing. differently. It is spelled. It is spelled differently. It's spelled like in. It's spelled like in golf, isn't it? When people go four, so that are those those are the arms you have to use for golf. Yes. Yeah. You use your forearms for golf. And your four arms for four things. Yes. Uh, no, I, I, I could grow four arms if I wanted, but then none of my, my shirts would fit. So. Uh, yeah, good point. Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. That makes sense. They really don't think about what I, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not a shirt designer, but I do often think, why haven't you thought this through? Why haven't you made any shirts for people with four arms? It's almost like yes. you don't care. Yes. Anyway. People, I think it's just because it's very rare to have this ability. I, I want to make it very clear that any listeners listening should not attempt to have their arms bitten off by horses to see if their arm yes. grows back. Unless one of your parents is actually a gecko, please refrain from doing that. That's very sens- very sensible advice. And I mean, it, it is also, I should, you know, you don't often hear of horses biting off people's arms. That is, uh, I maybe I don't small. know enough about horses. Right, right. Yeah. You, you're you're forgetting, you're, you're seeing this to scale, but I am, I mean, my mum was a gecko, so I, I'm, I'm pretty much gecko yes. sized. That's true. That's true. But I, I, you know, and I would say this, and I mean, this is a compliment. You don't look like an apple to me or any awesome hay. You know, I wouldn't have thought a horse would be that interested in, or did it not eat your? Well, the just horse wasn't trying to, to wasn't trying to eat me. It was just I was doing some right. of my, my dentistry. Sure, that, sure, like, sure. I've got a very, very tall ladder. It's a very normal size ladder for humans, like for human height, average height. Right. But for for you know, part gecko, part human people like me, it's a very tall ladder. So I stand at the sure, top of the sure. ladder, and then I. Uh, I basically just get, I lean in like a mechanic under the hood of a car. That's mm, kind of mm. the how it looks when I'm when I'm doing dentistry on on gift horses. Uh, yes, yes. And then, what well, I was lucky that the gift horse didn't. Basically, the gift horse um, sneezed, and uh, right, right. It was just a yeah, yeah. I was lucky my whole body wasn't in there. Otherwise, I would have had to grow a new top half, and then my bottom half. Uh, uh, then the other half would have had to grow a, a new bottom half. There would have been two two of me. So um, right, right. So that would have been. But then possibly you could have done more dentistry work for gift horses if there was two of you. You could sort of. Oh, I didn't take, think of that. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, I should ask because, you know, in, it, they do obviously say don't look at gift horse in the mouth. Why is that? What's it? Is it just because you might lose your arm or is it because like they've if they, if they got really horrible teeth? Do they constantly keep a little sign in there that says stop looking at me? You know, what? what is it that they're doing? Uh, it's actually, here's a little secret. That's a rumor that I spread so that no one else would take my job. Right, <laughs> right I see. Give horses see. find it really hard to find a dentist because no one will look in their mouths. Uh, right. So right. I've, I've got the monopoly on that industry. That's very clever. I mean, because my, my other question, I suppose, is what makes a gift horse? Is that simply any horse that's being given to someone as a as a birthday present or a Christmas present? Which I should just say, obviously, don't forget a horse is not just for Christmas, it's for life. But is it is it just a is it any horse that's been gifted or are gift horses specifically 
a certain type of horse? Like, do they have? Uh, are they wrapped up in in paper? Uh, no, it's a it's a horse or? that gives gifts. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's why that's why I like to be the only person who does dentistry on them because they it's very lucrative. They pay me very well and lots of presents. Right, I see. Yeah, I see. Well, that's lovely, and I guess. I'd have thought the horse that accidentally bit off your arm would have given you a lot of presents as a sort of apology so many presents. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The horse is really, really sorry about it. That's what. There's no hard feelings. You know, it's part of the job. That's good. That's very good. How nice! What a lovely. I mean, it is. It sounds like a lovely job. I uh, is. It, it, do they only give gifts for doing dentistry? Like, should I be at, you know looking out for a gift horse? I basically what I'm saying is I really want some gifts. I would love someone to give me some gifts. Mm-hmm. Should I go looking for a gift horse? Yes, go find a gift horse. They look like normal horses, right? But they've got a little cheeky look about them, <laughs> like a little I'm going to surprise. <laughs> <laughs> if a horse looks like it's got a secret, it's probably a gift horse. And what you do is wow. just to check when you basically, if you see a horse and you think that might be a gift horse, go up and say, "Hello, do you have a gift for me?" and if they're a gift horse, they are legally obliged to give you a gift. It's the law. Wow. That's um, amazing. If they don't, then if they don't respond, then they're either not a gift horse or they are, but they're acting illegally and you can have them arrested. Wow. That's yeah. pretty brutal. And, and there's no, there's no issue with normal horses. Like if you were to ask that and it turned out they were a normal horse, that normal horse isn't going to think not this again. You know, they're not going to be upset with you, are they? Or no, no, they might. They might just. The I. They're pretty. I don't know about your experience with horses, but I find that most of them are pretty. Um, uh, amb- ambiguous. <laughs> ambivalent. <Right. laughs> <laughs> ambivalent. Yeah. That's the word. Ambivalent horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That which makes means sense. that they're not particularly yeah. interested. Yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes because sometimes you approach yours and they don't, they're like, and, and they're always a shy horse, aren't they? Than some of the other ones. Oh, I thought shy horses were the ones that don't want to talk to you. They're really nervous. Yeah. Because they're shy. That's right. That's what I mean. Yeah. They're too, oh, sorry, way yeah. too shy. Yeah. 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 Like, so you wouldn't be able to ask it for a gift because they'd be, they'd go and put their head in a, go, in a <laughs> hedge or something to avoid you. Yeah. 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 Yes. Well, that's um. What's I don't know. And then they've got, you've got stable horses who are they're pretty confident in themselves, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yes. If they have their leg bitten off, then then they're an unstable horse. Sure, sure. But that would be. I mean, does that happen? Do, do horses do dentistry work on other horses, or is no, that no? No, generally no, it's no, very no, no, yeah. No. It doesn't tend right, to happen. Right. Sure. Sure. Yeah, because <laughs> it's a pretty. <laughs> If you meet a stable horse and it's unstable, you have to fold up a napkin and put it under the foot that's shorter than the others. Right. Yes, I have seen. Do you know what? It's funny because I've seen horses in a field like that. And I did wonder, is it that you've got, they've got really dirty hooves. um, Mm. So having to use a little napkin or maybe it's for like sort of just putting by their mouth after they've had some lovely hay, but they've got it everywhere. But no, it's, it's for balance. Is it right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's. I mean, it's a fascinating world. I. I think people sort of aren't. Uh, really aren't aware of the variety that happens in horse lives. You know. Oh yeah. I mean, the. I. I think there should be a, a TV show like the the secret lives of horses, and mm. uh, people would be shocked, shocked and appalled at some of the behaviour that they yes. get up to. Wow. Would they? They'd be appalled. That's quite upsetting. I because I always. Um, What's that phrase? Is it horses, horses for courses? Horses for courses. And I always wondered what that meant. But I'm wondering mm. if it's you. You need courses need to go on court. Horses need to go on courses to learn how to in behave. order to kind of learn how to behave. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. the term horsing around or horse play. Yes. That's that. Wow. Famously naughty. That's awful. naughty horses. Naughty horses. Wow. Except for gift horses, obviously. They were lovely. They're, they are lovely, yeah. Unless yeah, they're lying yeah. about being a gift horse, in which case that is a naughty gift horse. 
and you can, you can have it arrested. That is awful, <laughs> right, right. That is, is there any, are there any gift sources that give horrible gifts? Because like we've all, like, and I say we've all, I'm going to generalise here, but I'm going to assume every single listener ever listening to this has at some point had a gift where they've gone, uh, is that it? That's rubbish. There mm. must be gift horses out there that just get you totally the wrong thing. Well, I mean, it depends. They all give the same thing. Oh. Yeah, so gift horses give... Um, so if you're into gardening, like I am, uh, you quite often need... Uh, we call it fertilizer. And a lot of time, fertilizer right. comes from manure. And <laughs> right, horses right. Uh, have an abundant supply of fertilizer. So um, gift horses will give you fertilizer to grow things in your garden. It's really kind. I like it. I think it's a great gift. I've seen other right. people less impressed, but I think that they're being just ungrateful, actually. I think if you sure, say to sure. a gift horse, do you have a gift for me? And they give you some manure, you should say thank you. Wow. Wow. That's that's a really kind thing of them. Um, it sort of surprises me then that the horses that aren't gift horses don't give manure. They don't. They don't want to give that away. They must be quite uncomfortable. Maybe. I mean... Maybe they don't want to give it to you on command. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Maybe yeah. that is. Yeah, maybe that is true. Wow. Um, I have to ask, what what are you growing in your garden right now? Then, what's your, what's 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 the best thing this this uh the these gift these gift horse gifts have helped you grow? Um, eggs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. From an egg plant or? Yes, that's right. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, that's, that's what, that's what Australians call, call them. We call them eggplants. Uh, I believe here you call them. Chickens. Yes. So chickens? That's it. That's that the one. Yes, yeah. Chickens, yes. Yeah. Yes, so yes, I get the right. seeds yeah. from the chickens, I get the eggs from the chickens and then I plant those. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and then I wait and, and then hopefully some, uh, a, a nice big chicken, like an eggplant will grow and then. In the spring, all of the eggs on the leaves and stuff will, on the branches will, chickens will come out. That's beautiful. I say, that yeah. must be an amazing moment. First day of spring, all these chickens just hatching from leaves and, and uh, little eggs growing on the trees and then they all fly off today and, and then lay their eggs elsewhere. And that's how the cycle goes, is it? Yeah. It's sometimes you'll get a tree just entirely covered in roosters and it is loud. Right. <laughs> It yeah, is I bet that loud. is loud. I can tell you, I've had to move several times because neighbors complained about my my uh, rooster trees. But uh, I I apologize for nothing. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. And also, those neighbors they'll be annoyed. But I bet they're they're up in the morning and and getting stuff done. You know, imagine you don't live anywhere near a rooster tree. You, you probably wake up and go, oh, "I've missed a whole week." You know. Yeah, and if you're as small yeah. as me, you can ride the chickens around. It's cheaper than a right, car. Right, sure, sure. Right, right. I mean, it's, it's you've really got it sorted. But I mean, one of the things I love about having you on this I show have is that you've, you've you've had the best life, and you got it's so it's so wise. Hashtag like living you the really dream. know how to absolutely living the dream. You know how to really have fun, but but really, I mean, I, I don't think many of our listeners will have thought about uh, well, a collecting gifts from horses let alone growing egg eggplants uh and you know it's and then using that as transport i mean it's really i, mean, I suppose the only issue with that is you you've got to worry when crossing the road with that chicken yes yeah yeah um well i, I don't tend to i i go down the road on the chicken because it's transport right um if you want to cross the road you're going to want a zebra yes very clever or a, a pelican i believe are quite good as well yes yes I didn't know about those until recently because I'm learning to drive. Uh, right. I've been, right. I've been operating my chickens without a license. And so, uh, wow. I, I, I didn't realize I did. I, wow. In Australia, you don't need one, but over here you need a, a chicken license. So, um, I to, don't to want to say around. that you're a hypocrite here, Beck, but here you are telling us to shop in any illegal gift horses and you've been driving a chicken without a license. Yeah. But I, I didn't know. And that sure, sure. That's okay, yeah. isn't it? If you don't, if you tell the police that you didn't know something, then, then, <laughs> then there you go. I think that's the rules, isn't it? If they're like, "What are you doing?" Like, I don't know. And they're like, "Yeah, you can carry on, carry on. That's fine. Yeah, carry on." Are you stealing from that shop? I didn't realize. Sorry, 
<laughs> Are we not okay. allowed to just Carry take on. the things? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. I, I didn't thought know. they were free. Yeah. Where yeah, I'm from, we just take them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I, I, and then I voluntarily drop my my a, a leg, and I hop off, and they're so confused by my that's my tiny great. little leg that's fallen off that I'm out of there before they even realize. That's they so want to put smart. handcuffs on me. That's fine. They can keep my hands. I'm gone. I'm Whoa. out of there. <laughs> Wow, that is, uh, that's, I mean, I, I was going to, I was going to say it's a sn- sneaky criminal activity, but you don't know you're being a criminal, so it's it's fine. Exactly. Yeah, wow. Wow. Well, listen, Beck, you know, thank you for for coming back on this show. You, already, I feel we, we've we learned a lot, and I, I hope the listeners, um, I, I'm not sure they should do anything you've recommended, but maybe they, you know, maybe they should think about it. Um, I think the, I, I, I would say I, that I've I've had a very complicated life. Uh, so sure. I wouldn't advise anything. I would say, however, that it is worth next time you meet a horse, ask them if they have a gift for you, and if they give right. you some manure, tell them thank you. And if they don't give you manure, but you think that they might at some point, you can have them arrested. You can tell the police. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's that's fair. And you can't give a horse handcuffs because they haven't got hands. No, hoof hoof cuffs. That's what they have. Hoof 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 cuffs. Yeah. Hoof hoof cuffs. Yeah. Hoof 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 cuff. Hoof cuff. Hoof cuffs. Yeah, cuff cuffs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cuff cuffs. Yes, yes. Very so, well. I hope. I hope all. I, I hope that you know this will. This will go out. Our listeners will tune in, and before you know it, dozens of horses will be arrested all over the country. <laughs> yes. For not for not delivering manure. Uh, I, this is this, this is why I want. These are the changes I'd like to see here. I have to say, uh, and, mm. and in fact, all over the world. So, thank you, thank you, Beck. Um, now, l- listen, I, I've asked you on the show uh, again because we we have had a, a question that um I know you're the person that can answer it. I know you are. It's it's a really mm. important question. Um, before smart. we get there, well, you are you are very smart. That is indeed why I asked you. Um, but I, I've got a couple of admin questions. Do you mind dealing with those first? Yes, I do. Oh. No, no, go oh, for it. Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Okay, are you sure? I mean, I've st- the problem is I've still got to ask them. So even if you mind them, they still have to be yeah. asked. You could refuse no, to answer. Sometimes them, suppose, we have but... to do things we don't want to do, like you know, that's brush right. our teeth. Many gift horses don't want to brush their teeth because it's really hard for them mm. to bend their legs around and and use a toothbrush. Yes, and yes, uh, and that's why I that's why I'm necessary to to provide yes. the dentistry services that I do. But That's right. we should we should brush our teeth, even if we, we don't we want to. We absolutely should, even if you're a horse. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, like this, we should we should do this admin. Um, you don't actually have to do. There's no there's no legal implication if you don't do this admin. But it is it's on these this very small list of rules that I have. In yeah. fact, these are it's the not only illegal rules. to not yeah. brush your teeth, but you still should. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's right. That's right. So and like so much admin, like that. Yes. Yes, yeah, it's exactly it's exactly the same as brushing your teeth. Um, so if we can make these questions last at least two minutes, uh, is probably probably what needs to happen then, much like brushing your teeth. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, yes. How and many then, questions then we are there? We afterwards. can assign thirty second blocks to them. Right. Well, there's two questions, so possibly oh. a minute to each. Yes. Yeah. yeah, a minute to each question. Um, well, li- listen, let's let's see how we go. I think the second one's harder, but you know, we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, the first question, Beck, is quite simply. What is this? Mm, that's a good question. Um, mm. It's probably an apple. Right. Right. I did wonder. That yeah. explains a sort of reddish greenish. Yeah. And if it's yeah. not, if it doesn't look like an apple, it's probably an apple in disguise. Wow. If there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that it's either an apple or it's an apple in disguise, and that's most things. It's most, most things, things out there fall under that category, right. right? Because I, yeah. So, like, listeners of this show will know that I've had issues with buying lemons that turned out to be pat- uh, potatoes painted yellow, mm. Um, mm. and I was missold. I was missold them. It was quite upsetting. Um, mm. But actually, it turns out that what they were probably then apples in disguise as le- as as potatoes, potatoes as as dressed as lemons. Yes. Wow. So when, when people say, for example, like you should really have your five a day, is it just five apples? 
I mean, yeah. 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 If you have five, I mean, five apples is a lot of apples, but um, it's a lot. It's that's quite a lot you of apples. Do, yeah. yeah. It is, but it's not as many as, it's not as much like five watermelons. Like if you chose to have five watermelons, you'd be uh, like, Ah, but wow, most watermelons is... are apples in disguise, so. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. 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 And, <laughs> yeah. Which is a, a really impressive, like these apples are very good at that. Yeah. You know, they're real masters of disguise. They're sneaky. Yeah. Famously so. Wow. I'm really impressed. And, and does this kind of go across it? Obviously, we sort of like, there I'm giving you an example of fruit that turns out is actually an apple in disguise. But is it like, I'm going to put on my shoes? They're not shoes, they're apples in disguise. You know, um, I'm going to go to this office. It's not an office, it's apples in disguise. Is it? Is it like everything is an apple in disguise? Well, no, that would be stupid. Don't be silly, right, sorry, Tannen. Sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you an... Do you know... That's the sort of question an apple in disguise would ask. <laughs> I, I am not an apple in disguise. How, prove it. And I can... Well, I, I'm trying to think of how... I don't have a little stalk coming out of my head. Um, I don't have any pips, you know? Or have, are you, is it just covered up by that wig? It's true. That's true. Could be, could be true. Could be, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think how I'd prove... I wouldn't. I wouldn't roll down a hill as well as an apple. Does that no? Okay, you don't. This doesn't work. Um, I, I think you would. I think if I pushed I you down a hill, you would roll pretty well. I, I probably would roll quite well. Yeah, I am quite good at rolling down hills. Um, I wouldn't be as good in an apple turnover. But that's just you telling me that. I don't know that until I've baked sure, you into you a pastry know that good. For sure. That's true, yeah, that's true. And then, yeah, and then I'd be stuck inside a pastry good. And that'd it's, be that'd be You tricky. don't I mean I would argue that most of the people listening are apples in disguise. So you're on you're on a home sure, sure, sure. you're on home turf here. Yeah, but what about you? Are you not an apple in disguise? No. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> this is uh, because you know now you know why the horse bit my arm. Well, that makes a lot more sense now. But then to you know what I'm concerned about is was the horse not an apple in disguise? And in which case, what are apples doing eating apples? That's what I would like to know. And if you're curious mm. too, please write into your member of parliament asking. <laughs> <laughs> but your member of parliament is probably an apple. Oh, um, um, this is apples all the way down. It's apples all the way down, all the way up, all the way across, uh, and sometimes diagonally. Yeah. This is big. I can't believe we've uncovered a big apple, uh, consp- an apple conspiracy, I suppose. It's, it's rotten to the core, Beck. It's rotten to the core. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We got there in the yeah. end. We got there in the end. Well, well, thank you for helping me solve that. Although I'm still concerned that you are an apple and I might also be an apple and I've not realised. And um, I suppose it's something I just have to come to terms with. Yeah. 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 Well, nice we're time. here for you. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Well, you would be. You're also an apple. Um, well, thanks for answering that. Uh, and, and, and I mean, it got it got quite deep, but, we're, you know, th- that's how these things go. Um, the second question, and I think, you know, you take your time on this because I don't think it's an easy question. Um, but, Beck, would you rather have rings of debris floating around your body like you were a human Saturn or would you have to walk um or would you rather have to walk everywhere sideways like a crab? I already walk everywhere sideways like a crab. That's true. That it's true, how yeah. I get down narrow corridors. Yes. Yeah, I mean really narrow. They're yes. unnecessarily narrow. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but you don't have to. I mean you don't have to do that. You choose to do that. Wait, what? Well, I thought that was your choice. I thought that was how you liked to do it. I, th- I just, I just thought that that's how we're supposed to. Are you saying that I? Are you saying that I don't have to walk everywhere sideways like a crab? You don't. You don't. You don't have to right now. You, you would if this scenario came up, but right now, if you if you fancied it, you could walk forwards or even backwards uh, if you like, or you could forward roll everywhere. Okay, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Right, right, okay, sorry. Because I, if I want to go forwards or backwards, 
I have to get on a chicken these days. Yes. Because yeah, they yeah, can I go mean, forwards yes. and backwards. But I they tend can, to they walk can. side to side. Yeah. But you're right, saying that but... I could walk forward or backwards myself. I mean, I, I just sort of always assumed that it was your choice to walk sideways. Do you walk forwards or backwards? All the all the time. What? Um, all the all the time. Do, I'm doing do it our now. listeners, everyone listening, do you walk forwards and backwards? They yeah, they've all said yep. Yeah. Or they, they move forwards and ping, backwards. Yeah. Um Wow. Yeah, I mean I think that's I think that's the main way most people apart from apart from our listeners who are crabs. Should I give it a go now? Yeah, you go for it, yeah. Okay. No, wow. I just hit the computer screen. Yes, yeah, I mean, I would have thought, uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose the problem is there is you, you couldn't walk forwards very much. No, I but just you hit did a do desk. It. You, yeah, you did, you did do it a bit, though. I think I just leaned forward. I don't think that's the same, is it? It's still moving forward in a direct, like you... You didn't move sideways. Mm. I'm going to stick to walking I think sideways. That's some... Okay, sure. Okay. Well, then, right. So so you wouldn't want the ring. What if you you could stop walking sideways, but you would have to have rings of debris around your body like a human satyr? Would you be okay with that? Oh, debris. I thought you said Debra, and I don't want rings of De- Debra. That sounds inconvenient for all involved. Yes, Yes, I mean that is uh is that's what a Saturn has, isn't it? It's just rings of Deborah. It's just lots and lots of Deborahs. Lots of lots of Deborahs. Saturn. Anyone called Deborah or Debbie, they all yes. just float around. Deb. Yeah. 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 Any yeah. Deborahs or Debbies listening who are currently floating around Saturn, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, you've got to do that. It's just how just how the universe works, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thousands of them. Absolutely thousands of them. But I think, you know, I think that's it's nice to have a destiny in life sometimes. You know, if, you, if you're sort of thinking what, what, you know, the rest of us who aren't called Debbie or Deborah, you, you might be unsure what it is you're meant to do with your life. That could be hard, working it out, working out what you, maybe your career or your, your kind of life goals are. If you're called Debbie or Deborah, you don't have to do any of that. It's like, get up there, hang around Saturn. Yeah. That's it. That's I went got. to school with a girl called Erin Trimmer and she became a hairdresser. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. nice. So if you call That's your really kid nice. Debbie or Deborah, they're going to become a ring of Deborah, a ring of Debbie around Saturn. Yes. Yes. That's great. I think it's a nice thing to do for a kid, actually. Mm. Call them Deborah. Yeah. And that's why if I have a kid, I'm going to call them President. That's going to be their name, President. That's clever. Yeah. That's clever. My worry is they will still end up being an apple. Oh, I mean. Yeah, but pres- the president. Apple, yeah. The current American president is an apple. Sure, 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 sure. Ironically, yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a current. If the current president was a current, oh. that would that'd be great. That's but... a, Yeah, very interesting. Interesting. And what about the... Yeah. The current president is an apple. Is the apple president a current? Hmm. I always think I was disappointed when they say there's a strong current out at sea, and you look and it's not just it's not just full of those little dried fruits. Yeah, that are really buff. Yeah, because they're strong. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not it's not that. And I always think, well, where where is it? Um. Do you know what fruit is best at baking? I don't know what fruit is best at baking. Raisins. <laughs> Raisin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and is that is they're like raisin the bread? I just right, thought right. of oh, that I see. joke. Yeah, just, I just it was, it was good. I was also joke. well. My I just wanted to make sure before before I because I was going to laugh at it because it was a funny <laughs> wordplay, and then I worried that I'd maybe. I was going to maybe Overthought be mean it? to raisins who had actually trained as as pastry chefs. Oh right, yes, yeah. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to laugh before I checked for sure that actually, you know, it wasn't a sit because maybe I could have been, I could have upset a lot of raisins. Yeah, and you don't want to upset those. They operate in bunches, so 
Well, exactly. Exactly. And and yeah. Yeah, they they always look like they've seen a lot, Raisins. They look like they've been through a lot. And, uh, you know, I don't think they need me to mock them. Um, no. As, as well. Okay, so you so you're choosing you're choosing if you if you uh between the two, uh you're choosing walking sideways because you are you do that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't that hard at all. I thought it was gonna be a question. And my name isn't but... I, I don't want any Debbies or Deborahs having to hang around me all the time. That's fair. That's very fair. That's very fair. And and also what you What happens know, if uh, I need if to go to the are... toilet? Yeah, that's true. Don't want to be surrounded by Deborahs and Debbies. And you'd only be able to go to toilets that had enough room to kind of um, swing a Deborah in them because you'd have these Deborahs flying around you at all times. So yeah, and the human-sized toilets are already too big for me. I'm already right, yeah, I already course. use very small toilets. Yes, yes, yes. I can I can see it being very problematic. I think you've made a very sensible choice. Um, and and if it is a choice, uh, you you have to move sideways anyway. So. It's not much of a choice there for you. Um, but, but thank you, Beck. Thank you for taking those questions very seriously, even though you didn't want to do any admin. Um, but we have been sent this question. This question has come in, mm. and it is from um, Agatha, Agatha, I think. I'm not sure. Agatha? Oh, maybe it's a single alligator. You're right. Yeah. Yes, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, that would make uh, quite a lot of sense. I think this is from, maybe it's from a single one. And what's very confusing is it's signed off as Ag- Agata, Agata, a a single Agata, but it says in the question, hi, I'm Cow Moo 7, which makes me wonder if it's a cow, a, a gator disguised as a cow, which would be very smart. Mm. Very smart. Yeah, that well, would that, be smart. Yeah. I tell you what, they say don't look a gift horse in the mouth, but really you just shouldn't look a gator in the mouth. No, no. Well, they don't need dental work, do they? Because all their teeth fall out and just regrow. What, like sharks? Yeah. I, I yeah. should know that as a dentist. Well, you should, but you don't. You're not a dentist for uh, for, for gators. gators. So you, yeah, you're you, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I think would be very risky for you, despite the the arm regrowing thing. Um, I, mean, I should actually. I, I realize I've read this wrong. It's actually hi, I'm Cow W Moo Seven. Which to me sounds like a secret agent of some sort. Um, mm. Oh, Ku Ku Mu is a very confusing name. Anyway, Ku Ku W Mu Seven. I mean, I'm wondering if we're dealing with some sort of secret agent alligator here, but it, clearly they're very intelligent because they've sent in this question, uh, and I'm going to read it to you as it is sort of written. Why was school made? Why? And then there's mm. about fifteen exclamation marks. And that's mm. that's what they want to know. I mean, this is the age old question, isn't it? That since the dawn of man, the people have been asking this around the campfire. Mm. Uh, mm. You know, there's tablets, uh, you know, big slabs of rock where they've managed to translate the languages. And, and all it says is, why is school made? Why? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and lots of exclamation marks. Um, I've, I've, uh, I, I don't think you know this about me, Tinan, but I actually uh, have a doctorate in philosophy. Wow, I didn't know that at all. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people think that the doctor in front of my name is because I'm a dentist. They call yes. me like doc- Doctor Beck, but uh, actually. I have no medical training whatsoever. Um, probably shouldn't, right, right. Shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed <laughs> right. anywhere near anyone's mouth, really. But hang on, uh, well, hang on a second. So you ride a chicken without a license, and you do dentistry without any medical training whatsoever. This is very concerning. Is it? I don't know. Oh, I just got I'm away just with it again. The rough gecko lady. Very clever. So smart. So <laughs> smart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, 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 um, I actually have spent a lot of time working on this, this answer. And oh. I believe my theory is that um, school is made because uh, school is made because if we didn't have school, hmm. we would – all just be at work. Oh. Kids would have to be at work. Right. Right. 
And would that be bad because they just wouldn't be very good at it? I just think it would be a lot more boring for them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that's definitely true. I also worry, like, if you think, say, if your job is you have to drive a big crane. I don't know if you've mm. seen kids before, but some of them are very small. And they're I They're still bigger than me, but you yes. Said, well, they are. That's true. That's true. So for you, they're very big. But for most other, mm. for most humans who aren't half gecko, they are very small. And if you said to a kid, "Okay, go drive that crane," they they wouldn't be able to reach the pedals. On that no, crane. they'd and have to like rubbish. balance on top of each other. Yeah, you'd you'd have, have one kid working kids. the pedals, another one working yeah. the. Yeah, and this they this was how things were operated for quite a long time, and it was it was awful. Uh, buildings were collapsing all the time um the not, all the buses were just the buses were were not even driving they couldn't leave because the kids didn't know how to the bus drivers were children um wow. the the entire financial industry was was um actually arguably better everything ran better financially with with kids in charge but uh, bet, everything yeah. else fell apart um wow. uh, you know the Farmers weren't able to drive tractors. A lot of there's a lot of yeah. driving as a. It's a lot of driving, <laughs> is it? I and it's funny because you sort of think like as a as an adult with work. I I don't know. I suppose I do have to do some driving. But it, this sounds like all like all work is driving. No, the, uh, plumbers as well. Have you ever had a child try and do your plumbing? Oh no, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it's terrible, yeah, terrible that idea. Sounds, that sounds terrible, especially before. I suppose at the younger stage they go to school, they they probably are potty trained, but even mm. so, I wouldn't trust a child to fix a toilet if they if they weren't using a toilet themselves. Yes, I think that's fair. Yes. I'm not. That's not to say that kids can't fix toilets, but I'm just saying. Sure, sure. So what they did is everything was going wrong, and so they went. We need to put the kids somewhere until they are big enough to to do these other things, and so mm. they made school. Right. And, uh, and at first it was like just a big building and there was nothing to do. It was just a building full of children just sitting around wow. waiting to get picked up. You just sit there for five hours or eight hours. I don't know how long school takes these, these days, 12 hours. Yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere between about seven or eight minutes and, and a couple of days. And I, yeah. I know it's somewhere in between that, but I'm not sure where, yeah. And you would just yeah. have to sit there. Uh, in silence and wait mm. and then they were like oh this maybe if we had some classes this would be more fun if we could read some books um wow. maybe if we could do something with our time learn some stuff play some sports i mean was there an issue as well were, were kids having to be the teachers at first until they realized perhaps they, they need to be the student you know if kids were doing all the jobs mm. were they doing the jobs of teachers as well um i haven't reached that part of my doctorate yet <laughs> right. oh, i of see my... i see i see no that that makes sense that makes sense i um, i just had a sort of worry that you know kids were sitting around and the only person to teach them was two children in a, in a jacket um standing i mean on each other's shoulders. who's to say that that isn't what teachers are if your teacher is wearing a very long overcoat mm. very long jacket you you can ask them, are you lots of children in an overcoat? And if they are, they legally have to tell you. Wow. And if they wow. don't, you can have them arrested. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. That is that is how these things work. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. It's uh, it's so easy to sort of solve these issues. Um, by having most things ar arrested, um, mm. yeah, that's very that's very good, and and I and I suppose now that these kids are in school, I suppose my, my worry is the financial sector was better when kids were in charge of it. Could we not let kids do choose between school and banking? I think we should. Mm. Yeah, this is um this is actually a really big a cause close to my heart. I think that all banking should be put in the hands of children. And um, so, you know, we should say to kids, do you think it is fair if 
some people are allowed to own lots of houses and other, and then there's no houses left for anyone else to buy. Hmm. Or should people only own a maximum of two houses? Yeah, I think that's very smart. And, uh, you know, and, and also probably with, with kids in charge, some kids might go, no, you have to live inside a pizza. And then that would be that. Yeah. And that would still be better. It would be, it'd be cheaper. It'd be, it'd be cheaper. And hey, I've seen stuffed crust pizzas. You could, you know, there's a lot of space in those crusts. Yeah, especially when you're my size. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So mm. I think that would work out really nicely. Wow. So school was made. I, I sort of feel like kids have had a really hard deal here. The school was made to stop kids from working. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And earning, they were earning money before. Now they're not earning any money. No, it's true. So you should ask yourself, would you rather be in school? Would you rather be working in the financial sector? Yeah. Earning yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope, you know, I hope, I hope this will go out and all these kids, including Kao Mu Seven, uh, who may or may not be an alligator dressed as a secret agent cow. We're not sure. Mm. I hope that they'll I mean, listen to some all... Whatever they are, they're an apple in disguise. They're always an apple, of course. Yeah, so they're all an apple, which then makes you wonder how anyone was differentiating between apples that should and shouldn't go to work and apples that should go to school. Or is it the pips that go to school or the... Yeah. I I, I try not to interfere in apple politics. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very confusing, and it's something it's it's not really worth thinking about because it, it just gets quite upsetting. But w- what I'm hoping is that all the pips listening to this, or or apple children, or ch- children who are actually apples, who are alligators disguised as cows, who are secret agents, I'm just hoping that they'll hear this and go, "Hey, I'm gonna quit year two and go and work in the city." <laughs> yeah, you know that's what I that's just what march I'm in. Go to your nearest. Bank, march in, go straight past the queues, go up to the yeah. manager's office, walk in and say, I'm in charge now, baby, and then sit at their <laughs> desk. <laughs> and they can't do anything about it. They can't, they can't stop you. It. And if they try no, to they stop can't. you, you can have them arrested. <laughs> you can have them arrested. That's it. That's it. Wow. Wow. Well, I, you know, I think this has been a very affirmative, um, a very affirmative podcast. You know, I, I, I'm, I, I'm hoping that lot. Lots of kids. This may change their life, uh, Beck, and I and I really appreciate you coming back on the show to help do that. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, no, thank you for um, you brushing your teeth. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to, but I have to. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. Well, listen, you know, thank you. I'm sorry to get in the way of you brushing your teeth. Um, and th- thank you for coming and and giving such wisdom, all while you're having to let your arm uh, re- regrow. Um, and and listen, are you. You got many gift horses to to do dentistry on later. What's what's your next uh, twenty thirty years looking like? Um, I think I might go on holiday. Nice. Anywhere in particular? Uh, Swansea. No. Oh, nice. It's full of swans. It's very it's very lovely. Yes. And then I'm yes. going to ride them, going to ride them around the lakes. Wow. Wow. That's, mm. that's savvy. Swans that's are the savvy. chickens of water. So I've heard that. So it's said before, actually. Yes. Mm. It's often what people say before, um, which is, often I think is a bit harsh to ducks, but uh, you know, that that's just how, that's how. Well, ducks goes, are pigeons so. of the water. So. Right. Right. Oh, I see. That's yes. Mm. Yes. That's how that makes sense. Yeah, listen. I mean, it's compl- it's a complicated world out there, and I- I'm glad you're here to make sense of it. So, good luck with your Thank good luck you. with your swan uh, riding, and um, and and uh, may the arm grow back very very soon. Thank you. It's already um, it's already longer than it was when we first started this. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is. It's longer than I, it I, was before. I had it bitten off. Actually, it's it's kind of right, weird. Right, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. going to say it, it was fairly unsettling, but I didn't want to bring it up. Um, That's right. I'll put a napkin business. under the other arm and I'll even it out. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to ask is... Thank you.
thanks so much to Beck Hill for taking time out of being a gecko to answer Agatha's question. Uh, Beck is currently one of the presenters on Lego Family Explorers, which you can watch at lego.com. And she's also written absolutely brilliant children's horror books called Horror Heights. Uh, there are three of them. You should definitely check them all out. Agatha, I hope you liked your answer. But if not, please do send any complaints you have towards Saturn and uh, it'll just get caught in its rings of debris and uh, orbit the planet forever. So I never have to see it. If you have a question that you need to have answered, please ask your nearest flatulent blunderbusses. Sorry, I mean grown-ups. To help you, email me at podcast at comedyclub4kids.co.uk. You can also review the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube, or all of them places. And, of course, you can subscribe to the advert-free Linda edition on Apple Podcasts, Acast, and patreon.com forward slash comedy club for kids. And I'll say it again. I mean, it's just advert-free. You get it a day earlier. That is it. There's no extras, but it does really help support this show happening. And this week, um, if you enjoy that Radio Nonsense happens at all, why not tell other nonsense faces that you know to give it a listen? It would be a absolutely huge help if you could get your classmates, teachers, Big Steve at the office, your sensei, your local aquatics expert, anyone who might like this show to give it a try. Now, look, I don't want any of you to worry, but while you were listening to that, I held the microphone to my brain again. And now look what it's doing. If you need giant teeth, then come to Big Jim's Big Grins off Highway 272. We've got 10 feet high teeth, 20 feet high teeth, and even 50 teeth high feet. I mean, why would I be thinking about that while I was doing this show? Uh, maybe you know, my brain needs a rest. I know. I'm going to give my head a little massage to see if that calms my inner voices down. What's that on my head? Oh, listeners, I'm so ridiculous. I had forgotten that I was wearing my brand new portable radio wig. That explains all the weird voices. It must have just been tuning into different radio stations. OK, let me take that off. Ah, that's better. Now, let me try putting the microphone to my head now. And I bet my brain should just sound like any old normal brain. Thanks for listening to the radio nonsense. <laughs> What? You have been listening to Comedy Club for Kids Presents. Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! It's the end. <laughs>